to my dearest friend. Things here in Oxenfurt are turning sour. There was another murder last night, and it seems the guards are doubling their efforts to try and find this killer. I myself grow ever more curious, but have decided to keep out of trouble, at least for the time being. So instead, I have nested myself in these grand libraries, reading all manner of books on all manner of creatures. From here, I found papers. Papers documenting a winged and extremely dangerous monster known as a basilisk. Once again, this information comes from various reports by outposts and guardsmen. I found three in total. The first describes a basilisk discovered sheltering in a cave. Locals said they only ever saw the creature during daytime and that at night they could hear it sleeping. It seemed to be hunting and terrorizing local shepherds stealing away sheep as it waited in undergrowths and dark corners. They are said to hunt larger prey when the need arises, but prefer to keep away from any creature that may challenge them in size or strength. However, they are not cowardly, they simply stay out of unnecessary trouble. It said the locals tried to hire a witcher, but the best they could afford was a local bounty hunter who, shall we say, met a less than unfortunate end. Many thought that the basilisk could turn men to stone, and so they gave this warrior a mirror to reflect the gaze of the beast. And so this bounty hunter took with him this mirror, that sadly did not help to aid his fight at all. The report ends without an outcome as to whether or not the beast died or lived or was driven away, but as for the hunter, he was torn to pieces. The second report I read ends very differently. One of the creatures had made its home in an old tower that occupied the estate of a local lord. From there it also hunted the surrounding wildlife and from what they say was twice its average size and build. The lord of the estate, being angered and naturally scared by its appearance, hired a band of local mercenaries to take care of it, saying, and I quote, 10 steel blades will make more marks than one of silver. He did not think very highly of witches, despite probably being able to afford them. The basilisk, known for its strength in air and on ground, is no easy prey, not even for witches. But this band of blades managed to somehow fight and beat it to the ground using nets and spears. The report also mentions that among their costs in slaying it was the listing of various bottles of cheap but potent alcohol. It is my guess they used it to create makeshift bombs, throwing the flaming bottles through the air toward the beast. Although a basilisk may look like some kind of dragon, it is very weak to fire and flame.
The final notes I could obtain come courtesy of a real witcher, one that was tracking a very special beast for many long and gruelling months. The unnamed witcher was hired originally to slay a basilisk in Toussaint, but when he found it, it was more special than he could have ever imagined. It was a silver basilisk, named for the colours and shine to its elegant scales, one of the rarest beasts to have ever walked this world. A battle took place, one that supposedly lasted for only a few minutes, but the experienced witcher writes that he had never dealt with such a monster. He lost sight of it near the border, returning to collect his reward for driving the beast away. But the notes do not stop there. This hunt became a sort of obsession, one that led the witcher to track it without promise of coin or reward. He seemed to be a proud man. This one creature had tainted that pride. The final entry to his notes were found tattered and tucked away inside an old leather bag. It had evidently been damaged by water, but it read that he tracked the basilisk into the mountain pass, the cold becoming unbearable as winter was setting in. I can only imagine that he froze to death, and when the ice finally melted, his remains and journals were washed back into the rivers. Or, he may even be out there now as I write this, hunting down the silver beast. And that is all I could learn of these winged monsters. They are rarer now, straying further and further away from human settlements. But it is nice to know that at least some of them still walk this world. My friend, thank you for taking the time to read this letter. I wish you well, and as always, safe travels. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and that you're enjoying these videos. I wanted to say thank you as always to all my Patreons for helping to support this content and to everyone who's liking these videos, sharing them and just watching them. If you'd like to help support this content and more animated content then you can check out my Patreon down below. I'm releasing a lot of the personal stuff I'm working on as well as like future projects, video game developments, anything that I'm kind of just doing at one time. And uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, then uh, you can uh, you can take a look down below and see if you like what you'll see. Yes, yeah, and something anyway. Until the next one, <laughs> you go and have a very wonderful day. Kerfuffle.